Good morning and welcome to our midweek morning prayer service for both Claims and St George's churches. It's a bit miserable outside but here we are in the lovely church at Claims and behind us you can see our crib and you can see the kings who arrived this time last week. More on that later. Let's begin. O oh Lord, open our lips, and, and our, our mouth, mouth shall proclaim your, your praise. praise. Your light springs up for the righteousness, and, and all, all the, the peoples, peoples have seen, seen your glory. Ian will now read to us a, a song of joy, Psalm 100. Thank you, Ian. O oh, be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. And our traditional opening prayer. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And our set psalm this morning is Psalm 121. I look up towards the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth. May he not allow your foot to slip. May your protector not sleep. Look, Israel's protector does not sleep or slumber. The Lord is your protector. The Lord is the shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day or the moon by night. The Lord will protect you from all harm. He will protect your life. The Lord will protect you in all you do, now and forevermore. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. And now a reading for this morning from Mark 4. Thank you, Ian. Jesus stills the storm. On that day, when evening had come, he said to them, let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great windstorm arose and the waves beat into the boat so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? 
and they were filled with great awe, and said to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Thank you, Ian. A week ago, it was Twelfth Night, and I'm sure you, like us, took down your Christmas decorations. The cheer of Christmas was taken down. The tinsel and the trees and the sparkle were all packed away. We had, of course, welcomed in the new year. And whilst we were pleased to see 2020 come to an end, we had hope in the new year. We all thought 2021 would be a lot better. But with the year yet young, the COVID statistics worsened. The positive numbers the admissions to hospital, and the terrible number of deaths, all closely followed by lockdown three. But there is hope. Even though we might be struggling to find any hope in our lockdown situation, practically there is hope as the vaccinations begin. And always there is the hope that our Lord offers to us. We heard at the start of Psalm 1 to 1 the words, I look up towards the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth. May he not allow your foot to slip. May your protector not to sleep. Just as an aside, lots of local people call this psalm the Malvern Psalm. Certainly for 27 years I worked in Malvern and every day I looked up towards the hills. And even here in Worcester, weather willing, I can still look up towards the hills from our bedroom window, be they snow covered or spring green or autumnal hues. The words from this psalm encourage us to look beyond the hills to the God who created them. The hills are symbols of strength and stability. They're great inside, long lasting, and pretty unchanging. The creation reflects the creator. And so God who made the hills is even greater in power and strength. The hills are upwards in direction. But of course, we tend to look down when we are troubled. Our faces are downcast. Our focus is on our troubles and all our problems, and they just tend to drag us down further. But the psalm encourages us not to look down. The hills are a reminder that we should look up. We must lift our eyes to look at the hills, but not stop there. We must look beyond the hills to God, to God who created them and our Lord who will help us and give us hope. He goes on to explain that it doesn't matter what problem we're dealing with, we can leave it in God's hands and go to sleep at night knowing that God never slumbers nor sleeps and he will take care of us. As God told Jacob in Genesis, I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. In the psalm, it says how the Lord is your shade at your right hand. It means that God accompanies us every step of the way. He is close beside us, 
just as Jesus was, as he calmed the storm in our reading. During the lockdown, this is very comforting, that God is with us always. And even when we're living alone, or missing friends, missing family, we are not alone. And this can give us all hope. And so I propose for us all a gentle January and probably a gentle February too. Gentle with ourselves, gentle with each other, gentle with the to-do lists and plans, and gentle with our creation. Let us have gentle tones of voice to accompany gentle footsteps and gentle thoughts, all of which can be gently brought into our pauses and into our prayers. So, let us pray. Loving Father, you know how difficult it is for us to remain cheerful and content when we feel lonely, when we feel anxious and low in spirit. May we never be overcome by our burdens, knowing that you are with us, sharing the load and supporting us with your care. Heavenly Father, be with all who live alone and those filled with fear during these times of the pandemic. In these winter months of dismal days and long silent nights, when the TV news adds to the anxiety, grant to all comfort and peace. Hold everyone in your loving arms and keep them safe. May we all come to understand that you are always by our side and that we are not alone. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Dear Lord, we give thanks for all the researchers and scientists who have developed the vaccines and the health staff giving those vaccinations. We pray for our paramedics the nurses, doctors and hospital staff, and ask that they may feel your presence with them today and always. We give thanks for the work of care staff, nursery staff, teachers, and all the key workers looking after us and enabling us to stay safely in our homes whilst they risk their lives doing their job. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. And Lord, we now call to mind all who are on our hearts. Those who are ill from COVID and other illnesses. Those who are depressed and feeling low in spirit those who are bereaved, and dear friends and family members that we see no more, but are at rest with you, Lord. So let us take a few moments of quiet for our own prayer.
Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. And now the collect of the day. Heavenly Father, at the Jordan you revealed Jesus as your son. May we recognise him as our Lord and know ourselves to be your beloved children. Through Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Amen. And please now join us in the Lord's Prayer. Believing the promises of God as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven Hallowed be your, your name. name, your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And as we come towards the end of our time together, should we say the grace? May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, thanks be, be to, to God. God. So thank you very much for being with us this morning, live or on catch up. Apart from recording services, the church building is of course closed for public worship at the moment. But we look forward to seeing you at our Sunday morning worship on Zoom. Uh, or you can watch it live on Rev Joe's Facebook page, or you can catch up later on Facebook or YouTube for both churches, of course. So take care, everyone, and thank you.